Hi everyone, I wanted to jump on here and make a video. This video is about my upcoming girls intensive program. So this is not a Bertolotti syndrome or surgery video. So I wanted to make that clear at the beginning. I will be doing another Q&A Bertolotti syndrome video soon and I will be connecting with a lot of you guys individually and personally as well. So hopefully that um, comes up sooner than later. But I do have another job, so I have to make some other videos for my girls' program. Um, so I have a big intensive program coming up on September 11th. And basically what that is, is it's an 8-10 to 10 week program where all of my girls, um, usually it can range from 10 to 20 women, they uh, are in person or online. And we do everything, all inclusive. So we do nutritional work, we do mindset, motivation, we do in-person training, off-time training, accessories, calves, abs, cardio, everything that you can think of. So I get a lot of questions about how I prepare for my programs for myself personally. And in recent times, over the last couple of programs, I've not been able to participate in my programs, which usually I do. I've taken the last two programs to have my knee surgery and also to um, recover from my knee surgery. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to participate in a while. So I'm very, very excited about my upcoming program because I will be a full participant. And I am always so glad about that because it's a great time and a great season for me to really make sure that everything is in alignment, everyone's working hard, and it's the season for progression and growth. So that's a big deal for me is to do my years in a seasonal perspective. And for me, that works personally. And of course, I can always get into detail as to why that is. But... I'm very excited about this program. Usually, or in the past, when I'm participating in my programs, I can just jump right in. One day I can be one way, and then the next day, boom, program time, and I'm in it. But for me, because it's been so long since I've been able to participate in my programs, I'm actually going to wean myself into this program. So I'm starting now, August 31st, where I'm beginning to incorporate my nutritional work again. I'm beginning to incorporate my training and making sure my body is ready to go, stretching, mobility, all of that stuff so that when program time comes around on September 11th, I'm not completely blindsided. So what that looks like for me is, for instance, today I went to Costco and I picked up a lot of the stuff that I will also be using for my program and my personal nutrition. And with that though being said, not everything is perfect or specific right now, but I do get asked this question a lot as to like what my grocery runs look like or what my Costco runs look like. So I figured I would make a video and just kind of go through all the stuff I purchased today because I basically bought everything. And a lot of it is stuff that, you know, I just went through all of the aisles and said, like, is this what I want to be eating on my program? Most likely it will be incorporated somehow. Or if this is something that will start to get me into the habit of being on program. And I also bought just kind of anything and everything that I wanted today. So I thought it would be a great day to make a video as to what my purchases looked like. So we'll start with the food stuff. I'm going to just kind of blow through everything. I can always dive down into why I bought certain things and how I'm going to keep them for long periods of time. So I do a lot of freezing. Um, sometimes I'll do like the jarring and canning, but all of that stuff, I love to buy it in bulk. And a big thing for me is I'm going to be setting myself up for success for the upcoming program. So I do that by really getting everything I need. I have it at home and then basically whether it be prepping, freezing, you know, anything that I can do to make sure that when program time comes around, I'm only focused on my clients 
and I'm focused on my own personal training. So those are really, really important to me. So I don't want to be guessing where I'm getting my food from every day. I also don't want to be going to the grocery store all the time trying to fit that in and having unnecessary trips. So that's why I do this and do such a big haul all at once. And then obviously, some things I didn't buy here today. I love to buy, you know, fresh um, produce from tr uh, Trader Joe's. Like I'll do a big container of fresh basil. Um, I usually don't buy avocados in bulk, stuff like that. So anything that I want super, super fresh that is not an inconvenience and I can just go in, pick it up really quick and come right back out or stuff that Costco didn't have is usually just stuff I'll get every week um, or every other week and just prepare for that. But this is the bulk of the stuff and this is really a lot of what I stick to. I also supplement all of my greens, which are my micronutrients, but I do it in a powder form. And I do that because I don't personally digest vegetables well, so especially a variety of vegetables. So with my greens powder, it's a pretty much a guarantee that I'm getting in all of my micronutrient, and then any vegetables I have on top of that is just basically extra credit or just for flavor or just for the crunch or just for the freshness. So I'm not ever concerned about my micronutrients um, because I just can't eat the amount of greens that I'm supposed to eat and I also can't eat the variety of greens that I should be eating as well. So okay, let's dive into it. Um, so right off the top I got a supplement actually ashwagandha. Right now I'm kind of going through more of a stressful time so I picked up an ashwagandha supplement now I haven't used this brand specifically I am a big advocate for ashwagandha um, in the right time in the right place but we'll see how this brand is it is youth theory brand so I'm not sure about that but um, so far so good maple syrup <laughs> the garlic salt seasoning. I got three big packets of the ground beef. I don't know the percentage on this. This is 85.15 and depending on that I may or may not be using that in my girls' program for myself after I run all of my nutritional stuff. So that's going to go in the freezer. I got a big bag of green beans. These are going to be frozen. These are just for the little extra crunch that I like every so often. I got ghee, which I'm not usually a ghee person, but I'm actually going to transition to ghee on this program versus my traditional butter. I am, though, an avocado oil spray person because it's a great way to have just a trace amount of oil um, so that I don't have to program it in as much into my nutritional work. I got raw organic honey. Super big fan of raw, super big fan of organic. Um, I got a powder turmeric supplement. I've been wanting to try to incorporate turmeric more into my daily life. So I wanted to do it in a powder form so that I could have it specifically where I wanted it instead of having everything taste like turmeric. Or I do like that flavor occasionally um, and I want to have it more into my smoothies and stuff like that. So I didn't go for the capsule forms of turmeric this time. So I'm going to see how I like that supplement. Usually I wouldn't buy it from Costco, um, but we're going to give it a try. I got a ton of garlic because I think garlic is so healthy for you. Organic chia seeds. So I'm actually going to be incorporating chia more into my diet for this program, which is not normal for me actually. Um, I got some Bubby's pickles and um, I'm addicted to these in a bad way. So those will be limited in my program or else I will not do so good <laughs> and I'll only eat pickles. I got ground bison. This is a 90-10. I will most likely be using this because I love that 90-10 split. Um, again, if I need a little bit more fat, I can incorporate some of the ground beef, all of that stuff. Um, I did gear up with a pure Irish butter. Even though I'm going to try to stick with a ghee supplement um, or a ghee butter, um, I did want just a regular butter as well, whether it be 
weaning in my, into my program or after the program. At least I'll have it. It'll be frozen. This is also my favorite type of butter. You can tell it's amazing. So, big advocate. I hope they sponsor me. Um, I got some grain-free tortilla chips. I love grain-free. Um, these are just really, really super simple tortilla chips. They are the cassava flour, uh, cassava starch, avocado oil, coconut flour, chia seed, and sea salt. It's a super basic carbohydrate, and that's why I love it, because it's crazy easy to program in the nutrition. So that is a plus. I'm a big olive person, so I got both the Kalamata olives, and I also got the Castel Green olives. So I'm excited. I haven't tried these, but I've heard good things, so I'm going to I'm gonna probably have some tonight. I also got some fresh garlic so that I can use this um, for my fresh stuff. Again, like with my basil, I like to do like a fresh basil salad, and I will do fresh, fresh garlic. I'll do fresh lemon, fresh lime, um, all sorts of other stuff in there as well, strawberries and fruits and all that, so I love that. I got raw organic sauerkraut. I have not tried this brand before, so I'm very excited about that. This is the probiotic fermented. Um, usually I'm a Bubby's spicy sauerkraut person, but sauerkraut is included in my girls' nutrition and mine as well. So I'm very excited because I love it. I eat a lot of it. Un unfiltered. This is actually a good question, unfiltered versus filtered. So I like the unfiltered because it's kind of got that um, raw, kind of like milky um, sort of feeling to it. I love it because it's, um, it. I like the taste a lot. Um, unfiltered versus filtered, both are awesome, but I just prefer this um, personally, especially if I use it raw without cooking with it. Um, I got two giant things of organic lemon juice, huge lemon juice, lime juice person, um, a ton of fresh onions. So with the onions, I'm going to chop all those up and freeze a lot of them. Um, blueberries, strawberries, usually with my strawberries and oftentimes all of my fruit, I'll do organic. But in this case, I'm not on program yet, so I'm not doing organic. Um, I like the taste of organic strawberries better. And also, um, the seeds of the strawberries are healthier with the organic, um, you know, so those have a lot less of the pesticides and all of that on there. Um, so I try to shoot for that, but a lot of it is um, right now just what I can get my hands on. So... Almond butter, the organic almond butter is super tasty from Costco. I got like a big thing of emergency coffee. This is going in my freezer to make sure I have coffee at the house in case I run out of the stuff that I really like. Um, so because I'm easing into my program, I also have my biscottis. And if you know me, you know I love these, love biscottis. And if you know who you are, you always buy me biscottis that are seasonal from Trader Joe's. So I am continuing with that, except for I don't know what the season is. Um, it's almond dark chocolate season, actually. So um, I may incorporate those into my program as my little treat, um, depending on what I see with my nutritional plan, and we'll go from there. Um, so let's see here. I got my Beef Loin New York Boneless USDA Choice. Uh, same thing with my meats. I usually do organic, but with how expensive meat I've gotten, I'm not doing organic right now. I do plan on buying um, a half cow or something like that so that I can have my fresh meat and organic meat. Um, I also got my chicken tenderloins right here. I got a bunch of them, so a lot of those are going to go in the freezer. I like the tenderloins over the chicken breasts because... They seem to be a little bit more mild in flavor, they're more tender, and they're just easier for me to cook up really quick instead of trying to cook an entire chicken breast. I got the Fresh Atlantic Salmon. This is the pre-cut one. Um, these cut were actually cheaper than if it was one giant slab, 
so I went with those, um, and for the sake of ease and all of that stuff, but, um, next time I may just do the big slab and try to get a different kind as well. So I got beef chuck short ribs boneless, USDA choice. These are non-organic, but they are looking super tasty. I'm really excited. I like all that marbling in there. I'll, I'll probably consume a lot of this stuff before program. Some of it I'll freeze. But I definitely will be stocking up on my meats again for the program. And another one that I got, Tillamook Sharp Cheddar. I do the sharp cheddar and anything aged, aged cheeses, um, sharper cheeses. I really like that. It has a bit less lactose in there. It's very easy on my stomach versus most dairy products I don't consume because it's hard for me to digest. I get a lot of inflammation. I don't like any of that stuff, so I stay away from that for the most part. So... Um, let's see here. That was a lot of my food products. We'll switch over to the non-food. Oh, I also got my Spindrift, uh, bubbly waters. I got two of those. I also got two of my alkaline filter waters. I don't prefer alkaline versus non-alkaline, stuff like that. Um, mainly just having filtered water versus, um, tap water. I'm not drinking tap water. Um, that's a big thing for me. So I'm going to go back to bottled or filtered and I'm hoping to get a filter in soon. So I'm excited about that. So I actually got a little, um, meal prep lunch box bundle. And a big thing for me is I'm going to just kind of run my daily meal preps in here and then take those to work with me. So I'm excited about that. I also am excited about this, the Blendjet. I have never tried this before. I've heard they're awesome. I've seen them being used. Um, it's a two-pack, so I'm excited about that because uh, Lord knows I'll lose one of them. And I'm hoping to just be able to mix some of my smoothies and shakes up while I'm at the gym and have really good, yummy, good quality shakes instead of having to do just a shaker bottle. So hopefully that'll work out good. We'll see how I like those. Oh, I did get a giant container of the coconut oil for all sorts of reasons. Skin, health, just blah, 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 cooking, all that stuff. I got some sport bra stuff, um, basic uh, socks. Let's see here. I got some Lysol wipes because I'm sick, so I'm going to wipe more stuff down. Let's see. More sport bra stuff. Um, I got a new uh, food disposal for my house, and I got a couple extra meal prep containers. Uh, again, the plastic versus glass. I prefer the glass meal prep containers, but this I figured would be fine for some of the freezer stuff I want to be doing um, just for the time being. Oh, and then I got a bunch of other stuff here too. This is really cool because I never get a chance to buy clothes from Costco. They normally don't have any extra smalls. So I went through and I found all the extra small stuff I could. So I was way, way, way excited to see the Orvis brand there. Um, I love the Orvis. So I got an extra small t-shirt. Very excited about that. If I love it, I'm going to go buy a ton more. Um... I got a little pair of black pants that I'm hoping fit because they're smalls, so I don't think that they will. I think they're probably going to be a bit too big for me. I got an extra small black mid-sleeve shirt, so hopefully that's just a good basic little t-shirt. I got this little dress, which is actually the exact same dress that I'm wearing. So I'm so excited um, because I actually really like those, but I, if I were to get them in a small, they would have been way too big. I did get a small pair of joggers that I was thinking, these are the Fila brand. I was hoping that these are going to work out good for program time just as a, like a warm up in the morning, stuff like that. And hopefully because they're big, they will work okay. Um, I did get this little uh, cardigan. I think it says... The boyfriend cardigan, but frankly, I don't think my boyfriend would wear it, so I'm not sure why it says that. Um, and then I did get a knife set, so I just needed some more. 
and that's basically it so not too too much stuff but definitely enough to carry me through for a while um, again this isn't everything everything that I consume but a lot of it is on here so um, I'm definitely gonna kind of gear up and get ready for program and do the absolute best I can during this program so I'm really excited for that because I am very excited to see my body transform again and see where I can get my strength back to that's such a big deal for me right now after all of my surgeries and stuff and so I'm very very excited for this program so all right everybody I very much recommend weaning yourselves into the programs and starting to gear up with as much movement as you can as much water as you can let's start to get your supplements ordered and let's start to make healthier choices so that it's not hard once the program starts so i wish everybody the best of luck and i will be in it with you guys and i'm very 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 excited to see what we all accomplish during this season so all right thanks everybody for watching have a good night